A 24-yard field goal in the final seconds in Colorado beat Texas 34-31. Both games on the road, both remarkable stuff of legend. At Nebraska, option master Tommy Frazier had the Cornhuskers rolling in highly ranked. Then blood clots, street clothes, and sidelines for Frazier. The search for a quarterback. Number 18, Brooke Beringer, steps out. Then goes down with a collapsed lung. But now he's back, healthy, running and passing. And there is number one, I back Lawrence Phillips, running and running and running. ABC Sports College Football and the College Football Association present the Big Eight Blockbuster. Number three, Colorado. Number two, Nebraska. The Bow Coalition top ten standing. Penn State on top plays Ohio State later today on ABC Sports. Right now in Lincoln, number two, Nebraska. Number three, Colorado. And there are some who feel the winner of this game could move into that number one position. 7-0 oh, oh on the season will kick off. Neil Voskarichian. Receiving will be Nebraska, 8-0 oh on the season. Number 21 is Damon Benning, back from a sore ankle. Clinton Childs, number 26, both tailbacks. The game is on. From the seven-yard line, it is Damon Benning, the sophomore from Omaha. And he runs it across the 20 to about the 23. Brooke Barringer. 1994, those are his numbers. He is the number two quarterback as of the start of the season. He became number one when Tommy Frazier went down with blood clots. Then he suffered the collapsed lung and became a core celeb throughout this area. But he's back, he's healthy, and today Tom Osborne says they'll run the full book of their offense with Barringer. The opening carry of the ball game goes to guess who? Lawrence Phillips, a penalty flag from the umpire as Phillips is grabbed by the face mask. And so you can add some yardage there for Nebraska. Colorado actually won the toss, elected to take the ball in the second half. This is from the opposite side of the field. Johnson, number 46, the inside linebacker. I believe is going to be uh, right there. Grabs the face mask. He was the linebacker filling the hole. First play of the game. Moves the ball to the 35-yard line. Where he is the first down. Same formation, and the man in motion is Cluster Johnson. The ball goes to Phillips. And Phillips will have three yards on the carry as the inside is in. There's Tommy Frazier on the sidelines, one of the best option quarterbacks of his generation. Phillips, a 200-pound sophomore from West Covina, California, is the single back and has the ball again. He bounces around the lot, works his way to the 45-yard line. It depends on the mark. He's very close to a first down. That really Before makes this train go. Well, that's where to you in a moment. Yeah, that's where their strength is, Keith, and that's what they're doing here to start the ball game. First down at the 45-yard line. This time, the ball is handed to Corey Schlesinger in the field position the battle of this day. It is third down and eight now for Nebraska. Beringer straight back and has some time. Goes underneath with it. The ball is caught by the tight end. It's a big play for Eric Alford. A big play for the Cornhuskers. A first down at the Colorado 32-yard possession. It's a mix-up here. Now they get Phillips in the right place. The ball is snapped over Beringer's head. Has to come back and cover it all the way back at the 47-yard line. That play was out of sync from the very beginning, and Aaron Graham, the center, snapped it over the quarterback's head. The shotgun kind of fooled him and threw him for a loss. Third down and 19 now, third and very long, and uh, it's Barringer throwing the ball, throws it into the ground. Bad pass. He felt the heat coming. He got rid of the ball. He had Forced him into third and long situation. That is Chris Hudson waiting for the kick return. Darren Erstad is in the punt. He is a sophomore. Comes out of Jamestown, North Dakota. Gets the ball way up in the air. Hudson drifts under it. Lets it go. The ball is bouncing around. And Nebraska kills it inside the five. It'll be Colorado's ball. First down at their own. Benny McCartney, 13th season Colorado, winning his coach in Buffalo football history. We're going to watch his team start 
with their initial possession from their own three-yard line. Stewart gives to Salam, going to the outside, and he's out of bounds at the four, run out by Tyrone Williams. Cordell Stewart, fifth-year senior, 6'3", 210, Marrero, Louisiana. His numbers are strong for 1994, even nine. Don't be surprised if Stewart tucks him under his own arm and takes off with it. Like that. Gain is up to about the eight-yard line. One of the pro it is third down and five for the Buffaloes from their own eight-yard line. Cordell Stewart at the goal line gets pressure, passes away. The pass is caught, but Matt Lepsis, the tight end, is taken out of bounds short of the first down. They roll him out at the 12. He had to get past the 13, and the Buffaloes will have to gain. Is the man you shouldn't want to put your eyes on. He's moving around right now, looking for a crack in the middle, coming back to the outside. Here he goes. He got loose, and he just missed it. Just missed it. But he put enough heat on the punter, Mitchell, that he sort of hooked it left and uh, rolled it out of bounds. There's a penalty flag thrown back around the 12-yard line. It's a 40-yard punt. It may be that uh, Miles got into that neutral zone. Nope, it's going to go against Nine the yard Buffalo. line. They're on 49. Here come the Cornhuskers for their second possession with Phillips and Schlesinger in the backfield with Barringer. They're going to sweep it, give it to Phillips, cuts it in the crack, and picks up about four yards on the carry. And now let's hear from our colleague, Lynn Swamp. All right, second down and six for the Huskers. Barringer turns, gives it to Phillips. He looks in the middle. He bounces to the right. And he's about a yard short of his first down as Ted Johnson... The senior from Carlsbad, California, was waiting for him. Number 46. For uh, Colorado. Third down and call it two. Option down the line. Quarterback kept it. Got his first down. He almost held it too long before he, he had a chance to pitch. Then he committed himself, and then he took another step before he made his cut up field and just barely got his first down. <laughs> It is first down and 10 from the 41-yard line on the Colorado side of the field. Nebraska owns the football. Give it to Phillips. The big tailback or the eye back. Stutters and skitters through there for Brilliant. about seven Wiggins yards. Asked a question about that. He got downright cranky. He even just walked off left the questioner. And you can't blame him in a way because it doesn't mean a bloody thing right now. Corey Schlesinger, the fullback, carries it for uh, Nebraska. And he's got a Husker first down. So they move the chains again. Yeah. Ball is just inside the 30. Faringer down the middle. Pass caught to the tight end, Mark Gilman. And he's close to another Husker first down, but they're going to mark him just a little bit. Let's see. You've got a double tight end alignment now for uh, Nebraska. A single back with Phillips. This is the formation Colorado uses entirely. Right here. And second down and six. Option with Perringer, the quarterback around the corner, inside the 15-yard line, and a first down at the Colorado 14. Perringer is 6'4", 210, and he's a big first down. Convinced. So far in this first quarter, Nebraska's had 16 plays to three for Colorado. And the Huskers are now threatened. First down at the Buffalo 14-yard line. Into the middle, Schlesinger, touchdown! Here one for the big old fullbacks. <laughs> Tom Saylor is in for the extra point try. Snap is good, hold is good, the kick is good. You know, Tom Osborne is the master of the sleight of hand. You see the tailback, but he gives it to the fullback, number 40. Good blocking up front. He's going to take it into the end zone. Osborne moves it around, but he always knows who you're thinking about least and gets him the ball. 7-0 Huskers. The tailback for Colorado. Nebraska to the lead. 
At 5.47 to go in the first quarter, 7 to nothing. A high kick drifting into the wind to the 11-yard line where Kidd takes it and comes back to the 24-yard line. Sports. First down for Colorado from the 25. And Cordell Stewart, the quarterback, goes down hard on a driving tackle. And they are very fast. Second down and nine. Stewart back throws to Westbrook on the sidelines. And he's taken out of bounds. At about the 30-yard line counts. here. No quick counts for uh, the Buffaloes here today. Stewart with a quick drop, gets it off under pressure, bounces the ball. There were three red shirts coming after him, and they just kind of ran over people to get to him. Tony Birdie was back there trying to protect him. They took him down anyway, so... This is a defensive back. Mitchell gets it away. The ball takes a sideways hooking bounce and comes back up the field, and the Buffaloes will kill it. At about the Nebraska 41-yard line. And so the Huskers come out of that after a 35-yard punt with Nine. very good field position. Berenga sets him up. Wide at the top, wide at the bottom. Run an option play. Turn it up field. Shake off one man at the line of scrimmage and pick up six yards last on the play. Yep. And here's John. Colorado beat both of those teams earlier in the year, too. Second down and five, they call it. And Lawrence Phillips. He's it is now down. third down and three for the Cornhuskers. Beringer gets his pass off. It is caught. It is good for a first down by Mark Gilman, the tight end. Gilman took a step back and for a moment almost yielded the first down, but then was able to plant himself and drive ahead and get it. That's just by Colorado. They have not been able to get any so far. In fact, got Phillips into the ball game now. Actually, John Newton started at the outside linebacker position, but Phillips is in now. This is... Beringer still got it. Now here comes some heat. He throws a balloon into the crowd. It'll be third no, down and ten. Oh, Kerry, he's not too used to being put on the seat of his britches either. That pass is completed, but it's only going to be good for about two or three yards to Abdul Muhammad because Chris Hudson just took him right down, and now the Cornhuskers are stabbed today. It was 38 yards. Deep for the bumble. Hudson is back at the 10, and the punt going into the wind is a mile high and straight up into the air, coming down to that bright morning sun, and he makes the catch at about the 10-yard line, and now there's a penalty flag, and it might be that they didn't give him the two yards. Let's see if it happens. It is now a first down and 17 yard line for Colorado as they go to Salon. And Rashad Salon runs it to the 20 where Troy Dumas leads the tacklers. Or the Cornhuskers. We showed you a while ago. He is one of the specialists on the team. Very quick, very good player. Here comes Stewart on the option. And Cordell Stewart will have a first down as he is run out of bounds near the 32. First down, Stewart throws underneath, tried to just softly drop it into Kidd. A lot of people, Salam to single back. Give it to Salam. Looks for daylight. And he is wrapped up at the 35-yard line. For me, could be the last play of the first quarter here. He gets single coverage on the outside. Hits up the middle. Oh, the ball hit the ground. Ball hit the ground. It's an incomplete ball oh. pass. That was a shuttle pass. seconds of possession in the first quarter. Now you have three seconds remaining, so they have control this first period. Not a very good kick. It's shanked. It's out of bounds. Team dominate the first quarter. They lead 7-0. They start the second quarter of play. First down at their own 40-yard line. It is Schlesinger, the fullback. And it's first down at the Colorado 30-yard line. Steve Ruska and Chris Hudson finally brought him down, and 
Ross Ball is from 31 now. Play. First down, and Lawrence Phillips is a single back with T.J. Cunningham replacing Rosga at the free safety spot. First down for the Huskers, and Phillips has the ball, and Phillips is in the arms of Shannon Clavell, and will go down after a one-yard pickup. The first quarter number. Just inside the 30, second down and nine for the Cornhuskers. Buffalo show a four-man front right now. And Beringer going down the line, delivers it outside to Phillips. He comes around the corner, and they've got him a yard short of the first down. He picked well, up he eight. the option, he and he's a good thrower. Third down and one from the 22. <laughs> Phillips. Pretty good lick there from Mike Phillips. A redshirt freshman out of Louisiana, but I think Lawrence Phillips won the skirmish and makes it a first down at the 20. This possession started on their own for heat. Lessinger. And this time they wrap him up. Darius Holland. Only two guys deep, nine guys up to stop the run. Gilman, number 87, pretty good receiver at the tight end. Give it a Phillips. Little juke, gets away, first down, inside the five. Matt Russell finally brought him down. Second down and goal, the ball is near the five. Beringer, what a throw, does, got a man at the goal line. Short, however, of the goal line. That will not be a touchdown. The ball is called by Eric. From the one. is in trouble and the Buffaloes eat him up Donnell Liam Mitty the strong safety playing in almost a linebacker position came to the line line line. Line. he will try the field goal it'll be relatively short the ball will be put down at about the 14 so make it a 24 yard try and it's good so the Cornhuskers get it inches away from the goal line, but good defense for the Buffalo. Turns it back. They say she's a three high lead. They've not done a lot with it. Herstad, with the wind at his back, gives it a ride. No return by James Kidd. So they'll come out to the 20 for a first down right after our game, unbeaten Penn State. So check your local listings or call your cable operator for the pay per view choices that might be available in your area. Michael Westbrook has not seen much of the ball today. They've thrown it to him one time. He is flanked way wide to the bottom of the picture. It's tough to check off. Crowd gets into it. Cordell Stewart with the option play. And they throw him out near. They say, we, what's wrong? We need to get something going here. Stewart wanted to wind up and let it rip. Everything is covered downfield. Troy Dumas then as he pulls it down and takes off. Steps into the hole and stops him after court. That's some very good work in that Nebraska secondary. This is Salon trying for the first down. And he's got it. Very, very strong. Team yard. That so initial cut. First down for the Cornhuskers uh, for Colorado at their own 43. As the Cornhuskers step into the middle this time, changing the defensive look a little bit, Salam carries the ball and picks up. Well, you're right. Normally they're ahead and they they get a little complacent, but but they need to get fired up. This is Stewart on the option, and he's got a first down at the Nebraska 40-yard line. Now Stewart, as I he's mentioned, he need has helped him a lot. That's right. This is Salam breaking to the sidelines. Looking for the marker, and he's close to it. Before Kareem Moss can get it. Out. So this is more and more something, don't they? I know. <laughs> I know. I know. If, he, if Dan would come on, he'd look a lot better. He'd, he'd, he'd put some points on the board. First down from the 28-yard line. Stewart back to throw. Goes to the sideline, and the pass is incomplete. The pass was intended for Nebraska, leading 10 to nothing. Second down and 10 for the Buffaloes. This is Salam into the middle. A little skating move. Demon and he has picks won this up three yards. The last six years have gone on to the Orange Bowl. Third down and seven. Now Stewart's trying to change his play, and the crowd is trying to defeat him. Option. Nothing doing this time. 
number 86, Dwayne Harris. The big senior out of Bessemer, Alabama. Blake Anderson gets it down. The kick is up. It's into the wind. It is short. No good. Well, Nebraska wins another skirmish. 28. As Colorado is turned. Mega the 27, second down and eight. Phillips. Stadium is the third largest population center in the whole state of Nebraska every time there's a home football game in Lincoln. It is a sea of red, and it is a sea that is hard to park. It's one of the reasons that uh, you see the numbers that you do there. Nebraska has won the last 21 games they have played on this field. Third down and three. And it's kind of a long three. Daringer back, pass over the middle, pass is caught by Alford, the tight end. And a big play all the way out to the 47 yard line. Eric Alford, 6'2, 225, out of High Point, North Carolina. Let's see it. Tight end. Yep. Supposed, that's why he goes across the center of the field. First down, 47. Beringer again over the middle. This goes to Gilman, the other tight end. And he's down to the 36 yard line of Colorado. First down. Dutton Childs is now your eye back, and Makovica is the fullback. And it's Makovica, the fullback, getting the ball. And he's in there for about uh, three, four yards. Beringer in the in the passing game today, seven out of ten for 73. One of the reasons, number 72, Zach Wieger. He's going to be going against Shannon Clavel most of the day. That'll be a nice struggle. Well, Shannon held his own. And he made held the his own and got the yeah. tackle. That's right. So that'll be a that'll be a battle all day. Yeah, he said last year that he was so tired the thing was over. All he could do was just get a wave. <laughs> Second down and six. This is Childs. And Childs will get three. And that'll leave him a third down call. And they've run it pretty well. Yes, they do. Third down and three. Watch the tight end. Six of seven completions by Beringer to the tight end. Got Gilman again. It's another first down. Inside the 15-yard line, first down at the 14, caught the ball. And you got Muhammad uh, over here to the left and Reggie Ball to the right. And Beringer on a broken play, shovels it back to the wingback Muhammad. And the Nebraska wingback has always been one of those surprise factors in Tom Osborne's offense. So that'll go as a completed pat. First and goal, the ball from just inside the three-yard line. It goes to Childs. He turns it into the end zone. Touchdown. Here in Lincoln, Nebraska beat Colorado 52 to 7. Here's the kickoff by Erstad. Kid way back there, seven, eight yards in the end zone will not bring it out. And the Buffaloes will snap it from the 20. One of the things that Colorado does so well is their two-minute offense. It has been outstanding. And Cordell Stewart is the man. But I don't know if 36 seconds is enough time. I, I say that remembering what he did up at Michigan earlier in the season. Both teams, Colorado has two times out to work with. They run it with Salam. So apparently, uh, they're going to take it to the clubhouse. As it is, they'll have one more snap if they want it. There's a look at the comparison of the quarterbacks. Well, as we mentioned at the opening, the quarterbacks would, would play a major role in this. And Osborne saying that we can win with Beringer. He certainly is uh, five holding seconds. Up. A very deliberate pace here by the Buffaloes. Time is gone. Yeah, the first half's over. And so at halftime, it is Nebraska 17, Colorado nothing. The Buffaloes will have the ball to start the second half. Now here's John. Games ago, that the Colorado Buffaloes will have the ball to start the second half of play. They won the original toss. And the second half's underway. Down the field, it goes to Kidd. 
He looks for some daylight and found some as he got the ball out to about the 28 yard line. So look at the first half stats. They are all in favor of Nebraska. There are no turnovers. Time of possession big in favor of Nebraska. Total offense 234 to 89. This offense for Colorado, second in the nation in total offense. Only 89 yards in the first half. And they come out revved up. You know that. Here is Cordell Stewart trying to get around the corner. And it's the Bill Savoy jumps into the lineup now as Westbrook goes in motion for Colorado on third down. The second down and four. Stewart's pass down the middle. Just beyond the and reaching hands of all right up around the line of scrimmage. Peter almost jumped offside. Stewart back to throw, lets it go down the middle. It is knocked away. What a great play by Tyrone Williams. I mean, Williams saved a touchdown because Michael Westbrook at six foot four was and on the offensive his. line, and we are tough enough to cover the guys you got downfield, and they did it. That'll take away some of your will, too, if they keep doing it. Here's the punt by Mitchell. Gets a little better kick on it this time, and back to receive it is Kareem Moss. Looking for a little help. And they don't get there in time, and so they take him down just Do about the 30 yards. times line. in that series, and there was the coverage was there. Lawrence Phillips is the eye back and single back now for Nebraska as Brooke Barringer, who's been outstanding, gives it to him. And Phillips turns up field and he picks up another six or seven yards. And, and you get ball. Colorado can hurt him. That's kind of the game that Dr. Tom's playing right now. Here's the ball in the middle of the fullback, and that's a first down for the Cornhuskers. Schlesinger running over the left side will move the chains to about the 43. From the 43. Starting the second half of play with the Cornhuskers leading 17 to nothing. Phillips. That's another first down for the Colorado 45. Wigert, Stein, Schlesinger. So from the 45 of Colorado, it's first down. Formation set the other way this time. And Phillips to the 40. That's a five-yard pickup. It's, it's a big possession, Keith. Carries for 92 bigger. net yard so far. Very good on an option. Turns up field with it. Hangs away to the 35, and he's close to his first down, but they may mark him a half a yard or so short. 210 pounds. Phillips. There's your first down. It's a big hit, but... Right for a pass, got him wide open, all for a touchdown. Tight end. Colorado defense kept creeping in, creeping in, creeping in. All of a sudden, there it was. Alford has caught four balls today for 70 yards and a touchdown. That kick kind of... Dying Whale had just kind of hit there for foot, and it is picked up and apparently by the stone. The penalty moves it back, and on first and ten, the ball is snapped from the 11, and Stewart throws to the sidelines to Lepsis, the tight end, and he will pick up the first down on the flip. Right now, the pressure is on him. This team trails 24-0 in the third quarter. And the ball to Salon, who has been controlled so far today, and this time gets around the corner, and he is tackled out of bounds. That's a late hit by Trey Ellis. And is they come to this side again. Stewart keeps it, and Kareem Moss, number 29, is up there to get him. To the top of the picture. Phil Ellis. No backs. No backs. Salon is a receiver down the sidelines. The ball is drilled into the middle of the field to Westbrook. He has wrestled down Four finally at the 30. The quarterback has got speed of 4.3, so they can strike in one play and get back on the scoreboard. Salam tries a carry Long here and gets the bottom of the picture as a receiver. He's a good one. And Stewart has a look at him and throws it to him. The ball is bouncing around and is on the 
the ground and is ruled an incomplete forward pass. He never really had his grip on it. Ball was bouncing around him the whole time. There. Let's see what happens. Again, Salam is a wide receiver. Here they come. They got a piece of him, but he stepped away from it. And get another piece of him and take him down at the 41-yard line where the Nebraska Cornhuskers will have the football. And his pull back and Phillips behind him. And that's Brendan Holbein in motion. Phillips shakes the tackler. Gets around the corner and picks up seven yards. Right. Game. He's broken Bob Reynolds, 1950 in Nebraska record. Phillips is having another big day. That was Schlesinger trying for the first time. You gotta be a pretty tough guy to get hammered that many times. He's looking. And he does not get the first down on third down and a yard that and is a half. The they held him. And it's Chris Hudson, Hudson waiting for it. It's it way up in the air, forcing Chris into a fair catch call, and he makes it inside the ten. Day for the box. So he's back. Cordell Stewart lets it go. The ball is caught by Michael Westbrook. Shrugs off a tackler and gets it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Westbrook is 6'4", 165, is not going to handle it. And that one up the middle to Salam, and he's gone to the races. Finally out of bounds, way downfield at the 30-yard line of Nebraska, and it was Brown Baron starting Mondale. to come up at that end of the field now, making more noise. And Stewart back, dumps it off to Salam, has a blocker in front of him and reaches the 24 before he is taken down. That's about a six-yard pickup. Salam comes back to the inside. Not there, as Dante Jones was among those who for Colorado at the 23 of Nebraska. And Salam won't get there. You gotta go for it, though. 24-0, Nebraska leading. Big play right here. Miller is in at fullback. He's usually in there to block. Crowd trying to make it as difficult as possible down there for Stewart. Stewart on the option. Danny goes. Number 99, Terry Cornelie. Cornelie blowing up the middle. And the big senior from Hyannis got his man. Continued this way. Schlesinger and Phillips in the backfield behind Beringer. Phillips. There was nothing there for him. That's nothing. not on updates. Shannon. You don't see any yellow there, but on the finals, you'll see the yellow. So. With the winners, you got them. Two, sixteen. That's Phillips again. Pursuit. Fierce. Out of the shotgun, Beringer. Throws the interception. Threw it right to him. Dalton Simmons. He had one man over there in the middle of three Buffaloes. He should never in the world have thrown the ball. And it's a 36 yard line. Cordell Stewart back. Looks to throw it. Does. And is there. Pass is drilled. Caught by Ray Carruth. Bevel has and three Ray. on the day. 24-13. On second down and one. Salam carries the ball. And looks like he may have the first down. And Getting into the act again as Stewart tries to call his play. Has some time. There it goes. And the receiver falls down. No flag. It is Kidd who uh, bucked into Baron Miles and fell down. But second down and ten. Comes back to this side to Westbrook. Jailway. the six-yard line, Michael Westbrook. He is really strong once he gets that ball. Salam. Touchdown. Colorado finally gets on the scoreboard at 106 to play in the third quarter. Salam now with 102 yards on the day, getting his 19th touchdown. They hold up under them in this last second stuff. Woo. 
That kick is high. Wind's going to hang it up a little bit. Finally, it is taken at about the 14-yard line by Clinton Child. And Clinton gets a big return out of it. Comes all the way out for the 46-yard line. First down and 15 as the ball comes back. Really, it's sitting right on the 41-yard line. Vargas pass is to the tight end, Alford. And he will carry it up to the 49. That's a pickup of eight yards. So it's been one of the biggest days in Eric Alford's career as a receiver at the tight end position. Well, he came in, Keith, with five receptions and three touchdowns, and he's caught five passes today and one touchdown. So Nebraska and Osborne like the throw to their tight ends. Uh, let's see if they're going to let the time go. Three, two, one, it's over. Third quarter is over. We'll be back with a final period between the Buffaloes and Cornhuskers after this message and the word from our ABC station. Third down and 10 now. The ball back on the 47. Farragut's pass thrown to Phillips. Nowhere near first down territory. And it'll bring up fourth down, and the Huskers will have to punt. Here's John. Nebraska will punt. Colorado's got 10 up. No pressure. They peel back. Kick is high in the air. Wynn holds it up. Hudson comes up, takes the ball at about the 17. And they've got him out of bounds at about the 17. They put it on the 15 yard line for the start of this possession. Stewart gives it to Salam, and he finds some room. And I'm starting to find some daylight for the running attack as they slide it off the tackle. On first down, looking to throw, does, bringing Westbrook back into the middle. He chooses to go the other way. And there's a gain of about five on the play. Second down and five, Stewart. Passes away for the tight end. Fourier tries to one-hand it, reel it in, and can bring it down. That is a key stat right there. They haven't converted on third down. That won't this time either. Over. This is Andy Mitchell to punt. Two men back, Moss and Ball for Nebraska. Oh, and back up the field. The Buffaloes touch the ball. And lead about the 33 yard line. Buggery. The boys on Monday night ought to come on with uh, some masks. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> do I have to stay up? <laughs> Wait. Second down and seven. Ball is at the 41. Looking for some daylight. Childs, 215-pound junior out of Omaha. And that was surprising. Third down and three. This is Childs, will not get there. Dad kicking into the wind. Chris Hudson standing back at his 10, should get the ball uh, short of the, oh my goodness, that's a terrific punt into the wind. He got a tight spiral on it and drove them all the way back to the three yard line and they tackle him at the six. Huge punt by their Erstad. Their kick was attended possessions from inside the 28 yard line and three of them from inside their own 10 yard line. Stewart out of the end zone, throws complete. Ball is caught by Ray Carruth and gets a big right play now. out of it. He's been very successful in this style of offense. This is Salam slashing the ball game until late in the third quarter. Or even threatened, really, until late in the third quarter. Stewart. Gets the ball away, and the pass is incomplete. He had a man lingering on the sidelines. Christian Fourier get it off with one to spare. Stewart, pass complete to Westbrook. Taken down at the 45 of Nebraska by Tyrone Williams. He's got a first down, and the Buffaloes move the chains again. Westbrook, seven catches now for 99 yards. They go inside with Salam carrying, and he is now over 100. He's something like 130 yards. The reason they're running is nine. 
Down the sidelines for Westbrook, and it's too long, incomplete. The wind is at Stewart's back, and when you put that much... Third and nine. Option, Stewart. And down he goes. Great tackle there by Tony Vila. Oh, the goal. The three six. Watch Seven the and a half minutes to play. Here they come. And they got him. Ed Stewart, the blitzing linebacker from this side, forced him to step right into Dante Jones. Lawrence Phillips is the eye back, and Brooks Berenger has changed the play. Got a hurry, got it off just in time, pitches the ball back to Phillips. Phillips, the ball's running around, and Berenger finally has to go back and get it all the way back on the 32-yard line. Phillips never understood what was going to be happening, apparently. 6.45 to play in the game, second down and 27. Ball back on the 33. At uh, Makavica into the middle, and not much there. At Nebraska, As he moved, but he's across. now given up that record. He has only 82 yards net so far today after that big loss. Beringer's pass down the field. He's got a man wide open. I mean, nobody in town. That's the wind. Black got and that white. One because that going that way is you're throwing into the wind. Here's the punt by Erstad, and taken on the run by Chris Hudson. He's a tough guy, boy. And a penalty flag flies around, and you might even have a face mask. Yeah, the 21-yard yeah, yeah, yeah. line, first down. Stewart, pressure's coming. Pressure's coming. They've got him down on the seven-yard line. Dwayne Harris and Dante Jones, the two ends. Yep. Just came like wild men. That is field position. That is special teams play. Nebraska has had it today. Second down and 23. Quick pop outside. So to it'll Salon, be a first down now as the ball is moved out to the 33. And Stewart wants to throw again and does. Going big downfield. It's too long. Game and it was intended it. pretty for the Rose Bowl. Well, they're not in yet. This is Salon running up the middle to the 40 because they lost to Washington Bounce State 21 7. Stewart, hit as he throws. It is an incomplete forward pass. Down and three for Colorado. Ball was in the air as James Kidd made his turn. Couldn't come back to it. And they miss on fourth down again. And at 4.18 to play in the ball game, Nebraska will take over. And they take over on the Colorado side of the field at the Buffalo 40-yard line. Well, as we said at the opening, Keith, that Nebraska wanted to get after and put pressure on Cordell Stewart. He had not played well in the game last year. They felt like he was the pulse of this offense. If they could get after him and rattle him a little bit, not give him time to operate, that they would have uh, this offense solved, and they have. Nebraska, on the other hand, has been a bit sloppy offensively in the second half. They try it inside. It's a breaker for Makovica and a first down for the Cornhuskers. Jeff Makovica tears through a hole on the left side of the line and gets inside the 15-yard line. He was almost down at the line of scrimmage, but just kept turning. This is Phillips. And Penn Nebraska's State. looking for Damon the Damon Benning is the tailback, I'll tell you in a minute. Damon Benning. Brooke Sparinger keeps the ball, comes back inside with it. And there's maybe a yard there for it. Uh, what do I, what do you want to do? Definitely two outstanding teams. This is Damon Benning trying to turn the corner. Tom Osborne obviously showing here that he feels he's got all the points retired. Well, he hasn't done... Class man, I guess. Yes, sir. Fourth down and three. Beringer getting some pressure, runs away from it. And then slides down. The tight ends were covered for once. <laughs> First time all day, I think. Yeah, he was looking for it. 150 to play. And uh, the genuine Chevrolet most valuable players in the game are shown for their academic achievements and to help those in financial need. Coy Detmer is in the ball game now at quarterback for the Colorado Buffaloes. Coy Detmer, 6-1. 
On second down and one, Herschel Trotman, another freshman, a running back from Naples, Florida, third and four. Penalty flag as Detmer throws, and the ball goes. So I would think now that uh, everybody will sort of clear their bench and let everybody get a taste of it. Those who have never been involved should get a taste of it because it's in their future. Of course, the Big 8 is on its way to becoming the Big 12 eventually. And these two will remain. There's been a good deal of conversation about whether or not this amounts to a real rivalry. As that punt rolls dead back at the 28-yard line. And for much of the country in the second half of our doubleheader here on ABC Sports. Benning working his way into the traffic again, just running off the clock. That should do it. Lynn Swan will be talking to Tom Osborne in just a couple of moments as the time ticks away and the Nebraska Cornhuskers remain undefeated and certainly no worse than second in the nation. 24 to 7.